Anywho. Or you who? Yes. Talk some AEW. Got to talk some AEW. So around the AEW world. So I do have a few things here. Let me uh, get What's my going notes in the out. world, Kyle? What's going what, on in the world of AEW? What in the dub? world is wrong with AEW? <laughs> no, not wrong. There's a few things, but we'll get into that. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> the best was just <laughs> talking about the big thing. The big thing right off the bat. All right, let's talk about it. And it's a big thing. What are we talking for about? For the show. Huh? The big thing for the show. Big show. No, it hurts. <laughs> Paul White, aka or formerly known as Big Show, officially signs with All Elite Wrestling, and literally the most out of left field thing or signing, I guess, or to happen in the, in the wrestling world because no one saw this coming. This wasn't teased. This wasn't. There was no rumors of this happening. This is literally just you woke up in the morning and Paul White is All Elite. It's like what? <laughs> I was confused. I thought you it was confused? a joke. <laughs> I thought someone was pulling a prank. Oh, you thought it was like somebody was just like putting his photo on the backdrop of it? It's like this one's all elite. So I didn't see the official AW post at first. I saw someone taking a pic the picture and putting it on their own Twitter post, right? And I'm like, oh, right. what are people trying to do now? Like, leave Paul White alone. <laughs> but no, I go to, sure enough, I go to AW's Twitter account and it's for reals. Paul White is all elite. And I'm like, okay, what? So I read the 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 press release. I had to make sure what he was doing here for. So I'm glad that it's more of a commentary basis, All right? Which is great because this guy's not coming in here to be the next world champion. We know that. Um, well, Matt Awesome just put in the chat. He goes, "That was an awesome signing. He needs something to do than being catering." <laughs> yikes. Um, I, I mean, I can't sit here and rain on Big Show's prey. The guy is one of the greatest big guys in wrestling out there. Like he's he, he's. He's achieved so much at this point. I think signing with AW is very, very smart from Tony Khan's part. This right. guy could come in and be an excellent coach or tool for the big guys that are already there. You mm -hmm. think about it, like big shows. If there's a big guy they can learn from, it's the big show, right? If there's He's, a big guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love it. No, I know. It's just, yeah. So like, this is a great, great signing. I, I, people shouldn't be raining on this and, you know, put your criticisms aside with the whole... AEW and WWE war out there. This is a great signing by AEW. Yeah. Not just because he'll wrestle maybe once or twice this year for a spot or two, because we know that's going to happen. But for the second part of the signing, which is a commentary role, which they kind of announced two things in one, which I'm I was weird out why the one got overshadowed by the other. So they brought they said there was going to be a commentary role for the new Monday show, AW Dark Elevation. I'm like, hey, wait, what? What's elevation? <laughs> why? We, why? What? <laughs> I was ultra confused. And then I was like, wait, so commentary? How is he even going to work on commentary? I've never heard this guy sit on commentary before. Has any, has he been on commentary ever? <laughs> like, I, I don't, don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know I don't how know. good he is. Well, I would think that, like, even if you've never done it before, obviously you have knowledge to get behind commentary and do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm so. not opposed to, because we AW smart. Like, people's gotta gotta stop and pump the brakes a lot on on Big Show. Oh, he's gonna come in here and steal time from the town. No, he's not. Yeah, he'll come in here and have a spot or two in a match, which I think everyone is agreeing and, and waiting for. Because there was one person in particular in the AW roster that was the most excited because it was like. He 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 was freaking out. People were going nuts because they knew about it. And as Marco Stunt, Marco Stunt was losing his mind right. when Big Show signed because he's always wanted to do and work with him. That's if they awesome. do a, a Big Show and Marco Stunt like tag team for like one match, I'm okay with that. If it's against like a, a mid card tag team guy, who cares? Who cares? Let them do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you don't want to see him in the the baby diaper. <laughs> no, the New Year's Eve baby diaper. No. We're, this is not that company. They're not going to make him do that. If it's a BTE skit, probably. TV, yeah. absolutely not. Daniel says, how how long until Big Show joins the Nightmare Factory? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no. And if, he, if, the, if he's here for this commentary of this new show, we know he's not going to be wrestling right off the bat. Right. Although, although, I know next week we have Shaq and Jade against Cody and Red Velvet. Apparently, Cody has actually done something to his rotator cuff. So he is probably hurt. I don't know how much he's recovered from this. But if he's hurt and can't go next week, don't put your... <laughs> don't get 
he twisted here. He might Big Show actually might get in the ring as soon as possible. All right. He might might go in there and replace Cody Rhodes because I know. It, I remember when it, this was happening in WWE, when Shaq and Big Show, they were doing that big tease for WrestleMania with those. People were actually, like, genuinely excited for that. Like, that was a thing. And then WWE just never pulled the trigger and never did it. And people were, were, were very upset because they wanted to see it. Um, two big guys in two different sports. Like, and two of the, the b- b- most well-known big guys in their, in their two different sports going at it in a wrestling ring. That's, you know, that's, that's entertainment. So, All right. I, I don't know. I'm... I was weirded out at first, and then you know, obviously when you when you you start to look into it more, you start to understand and everything. So I thought it was interesting, but now he's going to be commentating with Tony Shavon of all people for this show, and we'll talk. 